Well, it's that time of year where the walleyes are starting to slide a little bit deeper, and they just might be spread out a little more than we like. It's a perfect conditions for a good old North Dakota tradition bottom bouncer and spinner. But not all spinners are created equal, and I'll show you a few of the things I like when I tie or buy my spinners. The first thing I look for are the number of hooks. If I'm going to be fishing with a whole night crawler, I opt for a spinner with two hooks. I like that second hook a little farther back to pick off those short striking walleyes. If I'm only going to use a half a crawler or a leech or even a minnow on my spinners, a single hook is more than adequate. The next thing I look at are the number of beads on the spinner. It's critical to have the proper spacing between the hook and the clevis. If we don't have enough beads, the blade will cover the hook point and it makes it tough to hook the next bite. The last thing I look at is the clevis. I hate to be dialed in to just one blade size, shape, and color. With a quick change clevis, I can snap the blade out and replace it with a different color that fast. You know, there's a reason they're a North Dakota tradition. They just flat out catch fish. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pro's Pointer.